Hello everyone, and welcome back to the chronological walkthrough of Frostpunk.imo. Um, last we left off, uh, we were kind of securing these seedling arcs to make sure that humanity had a chance to grow, like crops and all sorts of stuff, and just literally, I guess, keep any sort of uh, trees, grass, grass, all that good stuff, alive. Seeds for the future after the storm. Um, but while we were doing that, we were able to secure it but there's a town over here that's another generator town that is struggling and we took it upon ourselves to say yeah we're gonna help them so we are gonna go ahead and do that oh we need to build some houses okay let's get that sawmill range upgrade and we need to get enough wood and steel to send those people's ways which hopefully shouldn't be a problem now that we've built most of our stockpiles that we need and we'll send a relief expedition over there how do I... do I just click on it? Do I click on this? How do I do that? Yeah, there's 600 steel, 600 wood, one automaton, and center relief expedition. Okay, I don't... I assume it's just gonna automatically be like, hey, you should do this. Be like, oh, thanks, you know? Thanks for letting me know. Okay, they're back. Sawmill range extension. And now I am going to chill the heck out for the meantime. And just let this build up so I can send some stuff on their way. Work time. Get back to work. Can I send a relief room? Ah, a relief expedition. Go, please. Keep them safe. Okay, with basic shelter secured, the most pressing need is food. Hunger was forced these people to do dire things. May God forgive them. Gather enough food rations, give automatons, carry them to New Manchester. All right, well, we're already gonna have to step up our food production. So, industrial hothouse, please. People oppose you. Sir, the concerned engineers are here again. They argue that sending supplies to New Manchester endangers our mission. We came here ready to give our lives so that Earth can be reborn. We can't for forfeit it all now. Please show us that you understand the importance of the mission. We can't leave people down in need. Don't forget yourself. We'll go ahead and just disband this uh, expedition here. So, 200 food rations. Sheesh! Uh, I don't even think we can store that much. Yep, let's just upgrade that. We're probably gonna upgrade our coal while we're at it. One day ends. It's time off. Oh wow, people are actually getting kinda sicky. Health, 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 health. That little thing right there. <laughs> can honestly slap another automaton on that. Okay, our hothouses are going to be bitter. Um, let's get the advanced coal mines going. Slap those on there. Heal more people, please. Please. I have half the mine to just put an infirmary down, but I know I can Definitely can't uh, do that, unfortunately. Work time. Get back to work. Okay, do I get the automaton back, or is it just forever over there? Looks like it's forever over there. Okay, well, let's build another one then. Um, I will build an advanced coal mine coming at. And we will get lots of steel. Now what? Now what do I want? I need to get houses for my people. Yeah, build five houses. Okay. 200 food rations. Again, need that. Another automaton is ready. Heck yeah. Okay, that is nice and lovely. Let's get a house. Okay, we should be able to hit our max there. I think we can store 200 food rations. Can I, can I see? Um, food. How much can I store? 2,000 food rations. Okay, that will be enough. 
and we are definitely going to get enough coal. I'm going to start upgrading all our heat and stuff, why not? And one, two, three, four, five, there we go. All done and done. There's the houses. Let's get housing insulation, just so our people can stay warm. We need a lot more food rations. Okay, the city is ready. Hmm. Time. Get moving. We are getting quite a lot of that stuff. Can I downgrade this coal mine here? Steam coal mine. Get rid of that, please. I want a steam coal mine instead. I want another hot house up and running right now. And there's an automaton just sitting around. Okay, there goes that house insulation. Let's get this. Uh, I think we'll be all right for now. Exploration. Let's go for generator efficiency. That'll help us. That'll cut down on how much coal we actually need. So let's go for this steam coal mine. And I want to say we can do the same with this. Let's, let's grab another time we're going to need it. Okay. Steam coal mine, level two. We're going to go generator efficiency part two. We need another automaton there. We need food so we can make some more rations. Okay, we're still getting... We're still getting enough. Wait, sorry, hold on. We are still getting enough coal. Yes. I just need to prioritize that better. Okay, generator efficiency is all fixed up. Let's get better heaters. I think for now we don't need that, right? Right, 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 right. How's it looking? Yeah, two should be fine. Two should be fine, two should be fine. <clears throat> and we don't need this autom automaton here really anymore. Yeah, we don't really need that at the factory. Improved heaters, heater efficiencies, please. Let's just turn these down. I don't think we need those quite yet. Move. Time to get to work. Oh, we need so much more stuff. Let's just put an automaton here. Just constantly make food. And we'll we'll pull you off there. You don't need you there. Okay, heater efficiency. Steam hub range. We're gonna drop those back down to one whenever we're done with them. Work day ends. It's off time. Okay. Well, let's get steam hub efficiency. And we are dropping these back down to one. Thanks. Don't need that level two stuff. We're all good. Uh, eh, 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 one. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That one, and this one anyway. Okay, we have the rations. Send it. Wait, hold on, sorry. No, no, I apologize. That's not spent. Relief expedition. I need two automatons for that? Okay, well, let's pull you off of this then and send that relief expedition. Man, that was a lot of automatons. <laughs> you guys will work overtime now. Okay. Coal for New Manchester. The supply of food we've sent should get them through the storm, but New Manchester won't survive without a sufficient coal supply for their generator. We've estimated the amount they need, and it doesn't look good. Let's do what we can. Gather 600 coal, 4 automatons, and send the relief expedition. People protest. Sir, a group of 13 engineers is here to protest against your decision to send supplies out of the city. They want you to stop. We were he sent here with a mission. We know the poor people in New Manchester will die without our help, but by helping them, we risk the future of mankind. I will keep sending aid, and you will suck it up. Okay, we need... We need four automatons, 6,000 coal. Wait, sorry. We'll... Yeah, we'll get an automaton on top of that. 
that. Um, okay, so we'll have one, two, three. No, we have four. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Once that one's made. Sir, we found a letter to you. It's unsigned. Sir, I wholeheartedly support your decision to help New Manchester. I know of many I know of many others who do, but they admit it to it only in private, shamed into silence by those who seem compassion as weakness. Well that's not very nice. Awesome. Okay. Well, things are looking good here. So let's pull this off. Let's pull you off here. We'll keep two automatons on that, and we'll pull this one off of that. There we go. That's equals four. Let's go ahead and send that relief expedition. New Manchester, safe. Um, so we still have quite enough. We need to save up some food rations. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, we still have some of that stuff going on. Yeah, all in all, not too bad. I think I think we will survive. Generator range increase. New, Pan New Manchester cared for. There are tears of gratitude in the eyes of people of New Manchester when the final transport reaches their city. We did what we could. Their fate is out of our hands now. And they took our automatons too, those Wilkins. So let's be sure to gather a lot of coal, which we are, and we are also getting a lot of food. I think we'll survive. With New Manchester secured, we can focus on our mission again. The doubtful engineers have come forward. Sir, we may have disagreed with you, but we're prepared to put it behind us. For better or for worse, we're ready for the final push to fulfill our mission. Good. You hooligan? Do your freaking job. Don't be cook. Alright. Yeah, I think we're all good here. range increase. Let's keep it at one. I'll just pimp out the generator while we're at it. Because it's about to get ungodly cold. We'll also get healthcare insulation because I'm pretty sure we're going to need that now that I'm thinking about it. Med post upgrade, please. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. Okay, we have enough coal gathered. I think we will survive. Um, how is... Oh, we have enough food gathered. How is Cole doing? Doing pretty damn good. We'll survive. Yeah, I think we just win outright. Let's go healthcare insulation, please. Look at that. Look at that. We're already about to win. It's three days, 12 hours. Wallace victory. New Manchester, taken care of. Supplies are ready. We've gathered enough supplies to survive the storm. Everything else has been taken care of. Beautiful. Everybody lived for once. <laughs> Finish the arc scenario, saving both cities. Okay, well, here we go. Look at me breaking records. We did our best. We certainly did. We certainly did, brothers. We were chosen. Stewards of the future. But winter forced us to choose. We found another city, helpless in the cold. We decided to help. Lives were more important. We saved all the arcs. But more importantly, we saved New Manchester.
we took our chances and saved our humanity. Let that be our legacy. Heck yeah, boy. Tearing it up. All right, everybody. I will be back with the next scenario. All right, everyone. Here we are. A new home. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will become in this? Who will we become in this process? So, if I'm under, if I'm thinking of it chronologically correctly, from what I've researched and what I've seen, Ark's a new home happen at the same time because of that great storm that comes by. <clears throat> And uh, Last Autumn, obviously, is the first. Refugees and the Fall of Winterhome. Uh, they say Fall of Winterhome happens... Or refugees happens after Fall of Winterhome, close to a new home. And it, they kind of happen at the same time. But I think the scenario that's covered in this game is the beginning process of it. And they eventually hit the Great Storm. So I, I think Refugees, New Home, and Arcs all basically run at a very long timeline all at the same time so in my IMO dot IMO <laughs> for the chronological order we're gonna go ahead and start with a new home so without further ado let's get into it the main story we roam the still cold world no horizon in sight the rulers of old stripped pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. For those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Still gives me chills. Imagine a, a young, just in college, legendary gamer opening this game up. <laughs> we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. <clears throat> Alright, well here it is. We need to get the generator working. It provides the heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Alright, as you say. As you say. Let's get some steel in there as well, and we'll get uh, 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 yeah, a little more wood crates. There we go. All right. Well, oh, hello. Workers needed. 
There is so much to do, and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put our children to work. Now, Thankfully, I do not believe we'll need to do that. We'll do this emergency shift, though. I know you guys like that. So what's it looking like? What is it looking like? It is looking like... Yes. <laughs> um... Let me just... I think this will be good enough. I'll measure like that. It's usually how I set up the build anyway. Um, okay. And what do we got next for us? Ah, here. Okay, yep, this will be a good little... little measurement for us. It should be it anyway. Get some gathering posts down for our peoples so they don't freeze as much. Let's try to get these down before it gets too dang cold. should be all the resources that we need. Or, well, the gathering resources, anyway. Taken care of. Boop. Boop. Go all the way up here. Yeah, that should be what I'm looking for. People will get a little cold tonight. That's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Alright. Alright, that's everything pretty much set up. I'm going to go ahead and start laying some tents down, surprisingly. We have some, some leftover wood for that. Let's turn on the generator. Comfortably gather these resources from the warmth of a nice gathering hut. Let's be sure the engineers aren't getting killed out there. Um, yeah, nice. Looking good, looking good. Go ahead and do that. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. All the workers taken care of. We're going to go ahead and go for extended shifts for overtime because we might need that. A new law has passed. Actually, I don't think I've built it like this before, honestly. I think I honestly just focused this way. Maybe? I don't know. I used to cut it to like a little triangle. Maybe I'm going crazy. Move. Or maybe I put a med post right there. I don't remember. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food, there will be no now food, there will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Ah yeah, sir. Uh, I think I did no. You know what? Maybe I did. Well. I think I did put a little thingy right there. And then I split it like so. Yeah. More like that. Because I think that'll go straight. Yeah, straight on. Nice. Okay. We will get a little cookhouse going. 20 wood. Get some engineers in there. Some tech would be nice. Let's just put engineers in there for the meantime. Cook up some food for everybody. And we will focus on homes tomorrow. No roof over our heads. Don't worry. I'll provide shelter for everyone. Uh, don't want to skip out on opportunities to increase their hope. 
The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Sounds good to me, Chief. Alright, let's get some of it. Oh, hello there. Let's get the beacon going. Whenever we get enough wood. Um, let us grab some soup just in case. Listen, everyone. It might get a little hectic out here. People are sleeping on the floor over there. I am sorry. I promise I'll do something about it. Okay, it's about to get pretty dang cold. Okay, let's get that beacon going. And we're gonna get some tents down for our people. Family torn apart. Sarah, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Okay. Well, sounds good to me. Just a woman and her men. I respect it. Okay. Oh, you're full. Okay. Should be feeding you. Go eat. Jeez, we have food. Okay, this should be enough for the night. More than enough. Um, we'll go ahead and go for radical treatments, just in case anyone gets super duper sick right now. New law in the city. Okay, shelter promise fulfilled. Awesome. <clears throat> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hello? Come on. <laughs> Gonna get cold tomorrow, but thankfully we I think we did what we needed to do in terms of giving shelter to the best of our ability, but people are gonna get absolutely cold today. Need more wood. Get a beacon going. I will build this up here. Okay, yep, that'll be alright. Then I'll start building a cemetery up here, you know, just in case. But a sawmill is in order. Because we're about to run out of a, a lot of stuff, a lot of resources. Still got some coal we're dealing with. Okay, what next? Go for the cemetery, why not? Yeah, we're already building it, just in case people die. A new law has passed. Build a hunter's hut here. Build a hot house this early in the game. You're funny. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay. I plan on building a beacon ASAP, don't worry. We can kind of float on this food for a little while too, I think. Alright, cool. Beacon's built. Hello, it's me, a beacon. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm kind of surprised that the snow doesn't, like, just smack that stuff to the ground. Okay, you ran out of gatherable resources in range. That's perfect. We actually needed some free hands to send out. We actually need wood. 
People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The women who came forward earlier is among them. Don't worry, we will send a group out as soon as we have the resources available to us. Which we do not have, sorry. Um, we still got some wood over here. Let's go and collect that ASAP. Let's have ceremonial funerals so deaths can be halved. Verbal hope. Listen, everyone. You can be half for like deaths and stuff. Alright, cool. We got enough. Let's send someone out there. Uh, our lost expedition literally just right outside the city. Go grab it, please. Uh, people are sick. Stop being sick. Just, just get better. Um, well, I need to make a sawmill anyway, so. Um, really? Okay, well. Well. Um, let's just bring this from over here. Go up. Connect it. I have a sawmill. Steel wreckage depleted. We're still cut through that coal. We're actually finished up the last of these supplies over here too. Okay, that's done. Oh, let's bring this all the way. Yep, there we go. And that's finally done. Okay, we got survivors. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days until we couldn't go any on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Escort them to the city. Thank goodness we found them. Okay, we'll build that to there. And we need you all to go hunting for food because we're getting a little low. Now what's next? Steelworks? Yeah, we're going to need that eventually. So let's research it ASAP. Okay, let's put our people in there. And we won't pull an extended shift quite yet. Scouts have returned safely to the city. Good, 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 good. Uh, I guess that's a dead person right there. I didn't even notice that before. Wait, is that a dead person? No, it looks like perhaps, I don't know. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They surely will help us find our footing. We'll look for the others. Let's go ahead and uh, go to this gloomy cave. Why not? Need more housing for our people. Very good. That should be enough. Search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them to ask them for help to secure our survival. Okay. In due time. In due time. Um, we currently need to adjust for food, which might become an issue if we're not too careful. I think it's already becoming an issue. People are getting very sick. Did we get more engineers? We did. I'll get another medical post open. Med post, please. And another tech thing going. Because we have the spare. Okay, awesome. We found that. Now... What do we want? Hunter's gear would be nice. Or any immediate food issues we'll have, and then we'll go for the upgrade. Help people out, please. How's our food? It's not too bad. Could be better. Survivors. Hey, look at that. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. 
When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Rise attacking the bears. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beast away. Then they all set out towards the city. Awesome. Sometimes you can lose your people there. It is quite unfortunate whenever that happens. Okay. Got a hunter's cottage, another one. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They're quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill. Okay. That'll be the next thing on the docket is to heat some homes after we solve food. Let's get a fighting arena. Why not? Let's 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 have someone like battle it out. We need more wood though. Yep, still not enough food. People are gonna start starving. Okay. Let's get you guys in there and do that. Take care of that. We have some more engineers to help with the sick. Let's go ahead and go to this observatory over here. We need we need so much more wood. We also need a lot more people for food. Okay, what's this next upgrade? 50? 50, 50 wood? I'll hold off. I need to grab that ASAP. Okay. Here we go. Now for the fighting arena. I need 15 wood. I'll let you guys do that in the meantime, and then I'll focus on heating your homes. Um, I'll go ahead and go for there. That seems to be the most centralized spot to do that. Fighting arena. Go ahead and wrap a road around there. Then we will hopefully get enough stuff to build some homes. Not really. People are going to get a little cold tonight. Uh, now what? More scouts would be nice. How much coal do we have? We have a pretty sizable amount. Okay, not too bad. Y'all work on emergency shifts. Well, it's overtime. I'll provide some shelter too. Fighting arena build. Yay! is food now. Okay, we are making a positive on food, thankfully. So we should be good. Okay, instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them, they wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of the sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Yeah, let's escort them to our city. Interesting. So the sun said, nah, we're good. I just kind of backed out. I think we need another sawmill. people to house, of course. Um, yeah, that's not going to cut it, Chief. We need more sawmill. You go to the crash site. Okay, shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved at the roof, even a flapping one over their head. We're not going to be able to keep our promise for the keep it warm. Okay, food is swinging the other way again. Got to have to fix that. And now for more scouts. You guys will work overtime. Sorry, Chief. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and get some heaters going. Y'all are going to pull an all-nighter, sorry. Promise broken. Oh, I know. 
I know, I was there. Um, there we go. That'll perfectly fit the rest of our people. We'll feed our people. I hope. We're gonna get kind of snowed in the next day, so we'll see. With heaters. We need those better uh, thingies. It's 75, though. I would love more scouts. Or even research. Heaters? No. Yeah, it's probably necessary for survival, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get some more hunters stuff. Hey, a crash site with raw food. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wreckage. In the wrecks of our expedition, searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if the people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Ugh. Let's bring back those rations. We're gonna need them. But I think that'll be a good stopping point for here. Thank you all for joining. I really hope you're enjoying. And man, here we are, close to the end with all the chapters in Frostpunk. I'm excited. I especially love this one because it brings back so many fond memories, and I hope it does for y'all too. And if you're just joining in or just figuring out about Frostpunk, I really hope this is a good one for y'all. I definitely recommend just picking up and playing it. There's an endless mode here, so you can basically go into this environment and keep playing it like this, and it'll keep kind of changing the map every time a storm comes over, so highly recommend. But anyway, I'll see you all guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.